Okay, you've made it down the page this far, so there's probably a pretty good chance that you have an interest in taking Teleprompter Pro for a spin, and hey, we'd certainly be happy for you to do that. But before you do hit the buy button, there are a couple of common misconceptions that I'd like to clear up for you just to make sure that you can make an informed buying decision. Now, first of all, please understand Teleprompter Pro is a web-based application. It is designed to be run from an internet browser. And if you want to take advantage of all that it has to offer, all the bells and the whistles, then it needs to be set up online. So what does that mean? What that means is that you will need to take the zip file that we provide to you and upload it to your web hosting account. If you already have a web hosting account, great. We have a tutorial that is going to walk you through getting everything taken care of, the entire process, so you can be up and running in no time at all. Now, if you don't have a web host, that's okay. There are plenty of low cost and free web hosting options out there that you can use Teleprompter Pro with. We can help direct you on that should you need some assistance in getting that set up. Now, it's also important to understand that this is not an SaaS, it's not a software as a service type of application. So, we will be developing something like that, that type of an option in the near future. In other words, for the time being, this is not an online service where you log in and you access Teleprompter Pro from our servers. And like I said, we will be offering that type of service in the future. But however, at this time, that is not how Teleprompter Pro was designed to work. Teleprompter Pro is designed to be hosted online. So wherever you choose to host it is up to you. Then you can access it from anywhere in the world that you would like to access it, as long as you have internet access, access it on any type of device. Now, are there times when it makes sense for you to set up Teleprompter Pro offline? The answer is yes, but it is not the preferred method. However, it certainly can be set up that way. If you want to set up Teleprompter Pro offline, in other words, on your MacBook, on your, uh, on your desktop, on your, uh, your laptop, whatever, we have an upgraded option that you can take advantage of that we will present to you afterwards. And also, too, before you do hit the buy button down below, the reason that we have an upgraded version for setting this up offline is because this is not Windows software. It is not Apple software. Uh, it's not an iOS or an Android app. There is no one button install method, no, uh, no exe file, no executable that you can click on and go. That'd be great, but it isn't how this is set up because Teleprompter Pro, like I said before, is a web-based software application. It requires a little bit more effort to set up. So if you do not want to invest 20 minutes or so to get set up or even watch a video to show you how to get set up, then you do not want to hit the buy button down below because you'll just be upset and disappointed and waste time. What we do though is we guarantee Teleprompter Pro will do what we claim it does and we are committed to making it work for all users. We give you a 30 day guarantee, which is this, if after you get it set up, it does not perform like we say it does. Let us know what type of issue you're experiencing. We will attempt to fix it for you. If we're unable to fix it for any reason, then we will gladly refund your purchase price. We think that we can fix Teleprompter Pro if there's any issue that arises. One other thing I want to mention here is, real quickly is that because this is not a software as a service application where you access it via our server, we chose not to make this a database driven application because, well, that would have just added a, a several degree higher difficulty for most users to get set up and we would probably have to charge four to five times as much just for the extra support that we would needed to have rendered just to help people get their databases set up. So what this means is that you can still change any or all of the several dozen option settings for Teleprompter Pro, even though you don't need to, you can easily just work with it without making any changes at all and it'll be just fine. What you can't do though is that you cannot save those different settings to a database. Now there's workarounds to that that we can tell you about if you have questions about that after you get in and get started. Plus we are planning on adding the option to save your script to a text file so you can use it again later from another computer, another device, wherever you might happen to be. And depending on when you watch this video, there is certainly the possibility we may have already implemented that option at that time, as well as another request that's on our to-do list. We have a list uh, where multi-language uh, options, multi-language capability options are going to be included.
So in closing, I want to say this to you once again. Telefonica Pro is incredible. It will help you tremendously. It won't do the laundry. It's not going to wash the car. It won't take the kids to school. But it will be a tremendous asset to your video making toolkit. And, I, and when you use it, I just can't imagine that it won't help you take your videos to the next level. So now that you know what Teleprompter Pro is and what Teleprompter Pro is not, and can make a decision, I want you to go ahead and hit the buy button if you're willing to commit to making your videos the best they can be because we're here to help you do that.